Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. We're going to discuss the third episode of Life is Strange because it just came out not that long ago and I played it and I think I've got some things to say about it. Plus, the last Let's Discuss I put up was about Life is Strange, so why not continue that? Let's just keep doing it. Um, more or less, this has something to do with the fact that I have something very... Like, I think it's very important that I talk about this because... It was kind of a big flaw at the time. And you may hear this and may sound really weird, but that's because I'm really sick and I just didn't want to wait, you know, the extra three days for my voice to be back perfect in order to, um, you know, do a stupid narration of a video where I talk for 30 minutes about, you know, a game. Um, plus, by the time my throat does get better, hopefully I would have my other review written so I could, you know, begin auto narration. But whatever, auto narration. Audio narration. That's kind of, that's redundantly retarded. Alright, so uh, the third episode came out, and I had, I hate to say it, but it's like, I kind of, I kind of was right. I kind of predicted it. Not the butterfly effect thing, but the other thing. Uh, what happened with the, uh, the pointless drama and the blood and the nose and stuff. Um, so, but we'll do, we will have to get in a bit of spoilers. Um, but we'll do that later on, so hopefully I'll give you a disclaimer for that. But we're going to talk about the pointless drama stuff that I talked about last time with the whole nose bleeding and that causing uh, unnecessary and, like, you know, fake emotional conflict and drama. Last video, I'm pretty sure I said something about how, like, what, what are the few things that are going to happen. Like, either it's going to keep getting worse, it's going to keep doing more and more, and more melodramatic things, and it's going to get really, really bad. Or they're going to do the intelligent thing, which is... Um, just ignore it completely and they actually went with that option so they went with the better option and it did improve the game on a technical level because they ignored the nose bleeding thing because that nose bleeding thing is just it was a problem it really was a problem it was a massive writing problem and if they never talk about it if it never gets brought up again it would be a significant plus but that doesn't take away all of the problem with it because it was there in the first place it really should have never been there in the second episode ever I'm very, very disappointed that it wasn't there. But at the very least, they did get rid of it. But they did do something else that I find problematic. And this is kind of... I think this is what I actually predicted. This is what I thought was going to happen was... They were going to do a bit of... They were going to do a bit of mishmashing. Where they were going to completely ignore it. And yet still keep bringing it up. And that's what happened. Maybe I didn't predict that. But I'm pretty sure I thought I predicted that. I thought I thought, I thought that. But whatever. It doesn't matter. Life is strange. But no, that's what happened throughout this entire thing. They keep bringing up, they kept bringing up, they kept talking about and kept bringing up over and over and over again. You know, oh no, what about my powers? I couldn't use my powers to save Kate. And this about the powers and that about the powers. And, you know, ignoring the fact that you, like, stopped time and then walked upstairs using those powers, which allowed you to save Kate, whatever. <sighs> I couldn't rewind time to manipulate Kate. <sighs> But really, what it ultimately boils down to is the fact that um, they did get rid of it, which is a good thing, but they kept just bringing it up. like Almost like, there was like a, a good like ten conversations on Maybe not that much. That's probably hyperbolous of me. Hyperbolous of me. That's a good word. I like that word. We're going to use that word for now. On. Hyperbolous. Um, I, I'm, that's, per that's hyperbole. That's, that's too much. It's a bit of an exaggeration. But there are several conversations in this thing that basically follow the same line of thought and line of logic, which is Oh no, I couldn't save Kate with my powers. Oh no, whatever happens if that ha situation happens again? And it was just, it's this more added on, like, pathetic emotional drama that that doesn't have any weight, that doesn't have any, um, that has any attachment to the story, and it was just, it, like, it, basically it was saying, you know, it was like this, it's like, it was, it was dragging the dead carcass that was the hopelessly manipulative aspect of saving Kate's life. I mean, because saving Kate's life could have been something cool. It could have been something nice, but the 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 added the 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 not being able to use your power thing really detracted from it an aggressive amount. Because you're sitting there and like it's it's the game's telling you, oh no, now you have to be worried now because you don't have any superpowers anymore. This is where you're really worried about it. I'm like, uh, I could just replay this game, you know, you know, I could replay the chapter. You know, it's, it's an option you gave me. Like, it's this thing. It's like, like there's still uh, things around this. It's still a game about time travel, essentially. That's what the game's about. It's about time travel. There is, like, there's still, there's so much more to this game. that does. I don't need, I don't need the fear that Kate, like, 
being friends with Kate and um, talking to Kate and being nice to Kate and then saving her life is still such a nice emotional roller coaster in on in of itself. It feels good. You, like when you save her life and she texts you and she's talking, like and everything's happening. I'm like, um, I'm I was happy. I felt really good about it. And like adding that adding that drama to it, like adding the thing where you couldn't use time and everyone being all like, and it's like it was just it was such a terrible thing. I I, I saw it coming from a mile away. And then it happened, I was like, oh, crap. And I'm like, this is probably going to get worse. If not, I mean, the other way, if not, they're going to ignore it, which kind of makes it pointless and redundant. Like, why? It's it's basically, I mean, it's not Chekhov's gun because, it, like I said, they fired that they fired the gun at the end of episode two. But it still is because it's just something that only, that was it, in the grander concept of the entire narrative, it is still Chekhov's gun because it's something that, only showed it for the second episode, and that's it. So technically, it's a Chekhov's gun in that regard, but, yeah, whatever. It doesn't really matter. But that's what it is. I, I, I was kind of really upset with that. Every time, every time that you talk about the conversation, I couldn't use my powers, though. I couldn't use... I'm like, if I was Chloe, I would have slapped Max for that. Like, just slapped her. Just slapped her real good. Like, what? I mean, I know Chloe doesn't know. Chloe doesn't know how dumb the narrative is that in the game that they are currently occupying, but that doesn't change... I mean, that... Well, I guess not how dumb the narrative is, how dumb that plot device how dumb that bit of drama that bit of pointless drama was but whatever it's all cool it's all for the funnies all for the fun um so there's that and that that um that was a bit on the uh i bothered them so i really i really wish they would have fixed that i really wish they would have talked about that and i really wish they had discussed that in a much different light or i wish they would have just ignored it completely like oh i am not gonna get nosebleeds anymore for some reason like i don't like 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 they couldn't do anything really not nothing they could do would help it but there's a but, but it completely ignoring it not bringing up at all would have not hurt it that's to me that would have it would have literally not hurt it to some people it might might have hurt it but at the same time i saw i i just saw that as a problem and like you know even discussing that any further it's still hurting the problem you know <coughs> it's still adding the problem pushing the problem through so ignoring it completely would have been the best option. And what they did was they kind of did... They kind of took the best of both worlds, where they still had... Oh, no, I couldn't use... Oh, no, my power kind of thing, which means they might bring it back up again, which would be really bad. There's only two episodes left. Don't ruin it, man. Just keep going with it. But whatever, that's it. But that's the thing. is They had a lot of conversation in here where he's like, I can't use my powers. Uh, whoo. Oh, but, 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 but. Uh, another thing before we get into that, because this is something I don't know what it was. I found the I found the dialogue much more irritating. At least some of the dialogue, a lot of the um, a lot of the art discussions in this one was like not even art, just not the art discussions, because that lecture in the very beginning of the first chapter was like, oh, oh this is a thing. I'm mean, it's like it's like I'm back at art school, being a pretentious douche again. Yay. Well, I guess still I'm still I'm just on break, but whatever. Um. Pretentious art douche ho, um, but what what really like like but like just some of the dialogue was grating to me more. I'm, th this could cl this could easily be the fact that I was sick, because I've I noticed the fact that when I'm like out of energy and stuff like some people's shtick, like I'm like I just I just I'm like sitting there, like I, I apparently I could deal with a lot of people's crap without actually being overtly like antagonistic and douchebaggish about it like where I tell people off. But when I get sick. Or at least when I'm tired or something, I'm like, I don't care for your crap at all, bruh. Um, so maybe it was the fact that it, just because I was sick, you know, I still am sick. Well, I guess I'm coming out of it, really. I can't even call myself sick right now. But um, it might have been because of the fact that I was, in fact, sick. And so that could have easily brought it to But it was like, I, some of the dialogue, it was just like, I'm like, oh, man. It's like, you're lucky you're, th you're with three games in. Like, we're lucky we're three chapters into this, or I might not have played this game with that. But... Again, like that could be very much up in the air, whether in fact that was, whether in fact that was, uh, what, whether that in fact was like a determining factor or not. Because I, I might replay it and go, hey, because I, I do need to replay it because I need one, I need to get all the collectibles, and two, I do want to modify my decisions because there's some stuff that I, I missed. Like when you at the very like the one of my favorite things about this game is that like at the very end at the very end it tells you what the decisions you could have made. You know, like. Did you <clears throat> did you try to shoot Frank? Did you try not to shoot Frank? And all these fun little jazzes. <sighs> you know, all that fun jazz. Oh, man. 
But, uh, and you know, I like looking at those and seeing what it is, especially with my friends, because I have one friend that actually plays this game, and uh, probably he's listening. I'm sorry about that, Jim. Um, but um, I have one friend that plays the game, and, it, it, and it, I really like seeing our differences, because we, so we sometimes, we, for the most part, we follow the same paths, but that's because we tend to, like, we, we've played some of the same games, and we, like, do the same things, like... With, like, Kotar, we both went, like, hardcore, you know, nice guy. We were like, we can't be a meme. Like, how could he be mean, you know? It's just, I think it's just in our nature to not be terrible people, I guess. I don't know. Um, but, like, we do that. So, it's like, we, we, we follow the same path for the most part. And then there's, like, just, just seeing the um seeing seeing the differences. Like, because there's a time where Chloe kind of beefs with you. And she's all like, why don't you just kiss me? What do you think you can kiss me? And I kissed her because I'm like, you talking like you talking smack to me. You want to rise up to the challenge, and you better be, you best be with it, there, son. So I kissed her, but he didn't, and it was, and I really liked that. I like I liked our little decisions that we changed. I like the little the little changes we've made, and that that's really neat. Um, crap, I forgot what I was talking about. Yeah, but no, the uh, so the dialogue, uh, but it's okay. Um, another thing is uh. We're learning. This third chapter kind of did did something pretty bad. That wasn't like I guess this isn't this still isn't spoiler warning yet because this is just about some of the decisions you can make. Um, I'm not gonna talk in specifics yet, but uh, well I guess I can talk specifics because like some of these some of these decisions happened last part. But um, like, a lot of the talk was behind the fact that like uh, a lot of people said that there's the, the actual decisions in this game. Um, oh yeah, I guess I'll hit you with a... Eh, it's not that big of a spoiler. Like, watering your plant? No. Nah, never mind. I don't care. But the decision-making um, aspects of this game was like... It was toted as like they were meaningful. Uh, turns out they're not. That's part of the spoiler thing. Well, they might not be. So that's part of the spoiler thing that we'll get into later. But there's still like some... They're not in the middle. So, like, like the, there's a big talk about how, you know... Uh, the Walking Dead, the video game, like, the choices didn't matter at all. And they really didn't matter at all, and that's a negative point towards that, too. But I I couldn't really care about that. That's the most minor of points compared to what is wrong with that game. And this one was toted with, like, your decisions actually matter. Your decisions really matter what you do. And, um, for the most part, that's true. But there's a lot of other stuff where that is, in fact, completely not true. And it's really weird. Like, one of the decisions that was different between me and my friends was he joined the... He went... He got into the party for the Vol... For the Voltrex Club. You know, he got into the party for the Voltrex Club. You know, to find... Which is a good thing. Because you want to find evidence and you need to, you know... You need to do things. You're trying to investigate, you know, all of this fun jazz. But the lady who was, like, doing... Like, the lady who was, like with the signing and sheets and stuff like that, she was kind of a prick, and I was all like, well, screw you, I don't need you. So that's where we're, that's where our past, my, me and my friend's path deviated a little bit. He got into the club, I didn't. <coughs> then, in, 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 the, in the new episode, you just find the, the sign-in sheet for this, um, you sign, you find the sign-in sheet, like the, like the, the clipboard for it, that's just laying out somewhere, and so you're just writing your name into it. Funny, it's clever. Um, and unnecessary with the spoiler thing, but, um, unnecessary, but it's like, I, I, but it's like, I, I, I like the cleverness of it, but it's like, that was a decision. It's like, this decision will affect things. I'm like, no, it won't. It won't affect things at all because I'll, because I didn't join it. I didn't go through the people unless of course that, I guess the next episode's all about that actual party. Well, there's a lot about that party in that next one, at least the ending credit thing to it. So maybe, you know, maybe it will, maybe it's about, uh, so maybe, like, there are, like, choices, like, maybe I go into this party and people are like, well, again, I guess because of the spoiler warning, so that's not even a fact, so never mind, I ignore that completely, hey, never mind, ignore me. And there was a bunch of other things, like, the, the gun thing, um, again, I talked about this in the first video, so hopefully, if you're watching this one, you've watched the last one, and, you know, it's not a spoiler, but, <coughs> again, you can choose to shoot Frank or not. And if you try to shoot Frank, you keep the gun. If you try to not shoot Frank, uh, I mean, if, if you choose to shoot Frank, you keep the gun. If you don't choose to shoot Frank, uh, Frank takes the gun from you. In this episode, you're inside Frank's RV, and I, I, I maybe you don't get the gun back, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, because there was nothing in there. 
maybe it was in that hidey hole that that was empty when I, because you can search through. You gotta search through Frank's stuff in order to get information. <coughs> and one of the things that um, and one of the holes you open up that has nothing in it. So I'm thinking the gun's probably in there. I'm thinking I don't know I kept the gun, um, but like so I think you get the gun back. You know, you just get the gun back. So it's like that. That's another decision that had like like it like it just takes. It was like. Uh, after learning about it, it's like, oh, man. Like, that's another thing with the feed and the plant. Like, you're watering the plant, you know? Like, there is consequences to watering your plant, but they're kind of crazy. Like, you water the plant, like, once once a day, which I know is a little bit much, but it's like you're not pouring, like, a gallon of water on it. You're just, like, giving them a little bit of water, and I watered it twice. And then it died because you gave it too much water. What? <coughs> yeah, that was kind of bothersome. I was like, you killed the plant. Why'd you kill the plant off, bro? It wasn't gonna die that whatever it don't matter um but no that's like some of the decisions seem to continue to underwhelm themselves um but that's the that's the small like potatoes kind of thing now we're gonna get into this i'm gonna talk about the spoilers now because i've been rambling and i'm trying to i've been moving my way closer and closer to it which i should have just started off with and so that way we could backtrack through <coughs> through time and keep talking about this stuff as it come about <coughs> oh. I need water. I don't have any readily around, so that's not good. We're not going to pause the recording for nothing. We're just going to keep coughing. Okay, so the big spoiler warning, blah, 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 spoiler warning. If you haven't played any of, the ga any of these games, or if you plan on playing any of these games, I would suggest you wouldn't listen. Because this really is a big, you know, like, this did, like, this, I wasn't like, I didn't predict this at all. I probably, I probably I probably could have if I was trying to, but it was at least it was like there wasn't like there wasn't nothing going on in my brain for me to go oh I could have easily picked it up, but I guess I should have been able to pick that up, whatever. But hindsight's twenty twenty, so but it does come out of nowhere, so and, and it's and it like it's kind of a very interesting idea, but it comes with a bunch of problems aside with it. Okay, so the spoiler warning is the fact that at the very end of the third chapter. Or episode three, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Um, at the very end of the third episode, uh, you you basically you pick up a photograph that Chloe's mom gave you, and then you travel back in time to that photograph, and then you unkill, you unkill Chloe's father. And uh, surprise, surprise, the thing that had a massive like the thing that affected Chloe the most is going to affect Chloe, and you know it changes time and stuff, but it changes a lot of weird things too. But I get it though, because. You know, yet it's the butterfly effect. You affect something, you're gonna affect a whole bunch of stuff. <sighs> Man, you know that happens, and um, there. But there's a bit. There's a, there is a massive problem with this. There's a big problem with this. One of the major things that I I, I kind of hated about this episode, and that really kind of started taking me from really liking this episode down, is the fact that this idea of this changing everything undermined all of the, like, accomplishments from the past three episodes. Like, everything that's happened in the past three episodes. Crap, I had another thing I wanted to talk about this third episode, but whatever. It's just the fact that the, there seemed to be less going on in this episode than in other episodes, but whatever. But everything that happened in the first three episodes is basically gone now. Unless somehow they, they bring it back, which I'm thinking they probably will... But until then, I have to assume that all of the emotional weight and things that were gathered during this series is now gone. Which they probably will, because that would be a very emotional scene. That would be a very, like, you know, it caused a lot of conflict for the, the gamer and the reader, whatever you want to call it. It would, it would gather a lot of conflict for that person to have to re-kill Chloe's father. Which... Actually, would probably would probably be pretty neat to see. I mean, it'd be it's kind of depressing when you hear it, but I mean that's when I'm, I'm thinking that that's probably going to be something that's going to happen. And I kind of I mean I can't wait to see how they treat that. But before but if not but if they don't, which they might not, they might keep to, unless this thing goes really really weird. That emotional weight's gone because what happens is right after you do this time travel thing, you save Chloe's father. Ugh. You say Chloe's father. Um, you wake up back in the future, and everything. Like, there's a bunch of stuff that's changed. Like the fat girl, I can't remember her name. That you that you can either help or not help throughout the entire game. 
throughout all three, well, you can three, you can help her three different times. Oh. You can help her three different times. Um, she's now thin and a douche and part of the Voltrex Club. As, and there's a lot of other things, and you're already part of the Voltrex Club too. There's like a bunch of different things that I, <coughs> that have added here, <coughs> that have modified and that have changed already. So that means we can automatically assume that a lot of other things have changed as well. Like the whole Katie incident is gone. There's no Katie incident. All kinds of the stuff that's all gone. Every bit of it. And then it turns out Chloe is crippled. And it's just one of those things where it's like, with so much change, like, it's just the narrative weight of this thing kind of just plummeted to nothing. Which is sad, because I, I, I was really liking the first two episodes. I really liked the first two episodes a whole lot, even, even with the problems that I found in them. But it's just like, now it's like, it's all gone. All of it is gone. You know, like, and a lot of different things, too. It's like, how did, like, it, like, how did, like, what, Chloe didn't punch Nathan in the stomach? You know, all this weird fun jazz, like, none of this crap happened. So I'm just, I'm just sitting here wondering, like, what am I to make out of all the stuff that we just witnessed that technically doesn't exist anymore? You know? So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm glad that I had to wait some time because I played the first two back to first two episodes back to back, and then I played the third episode, and like like with that extra time in between those two, it, it I I know it cut the effect for me a bunch, but it's still I'm sitting there like like this like that would have been such a bad feeling to have at the end of the third episode, to have it all just stripped away like that because it's gone. Maybe Kate, like, like, maybe they're gonna justify it. Maybe they're gonna say some weird things about how Kate, you know, like, Kate would still try to kill herself. But with you in on the Voltrex Club, like, and, like, you just woke, like, you didn't, you didn't recognize your, you're sitting there hanging around with you didn't recognize it, so it's almost as if it was, like, an auto, automated kind of thing. So maybe it wouldn't have been nice to Kate, and that way you wouldn't have saved her and she would have fallen off and killed herself. But that's unlikely since everyone's kind of just chilling out and doing whatever they want. Um... So I don't I don't know I mean there's all kinds of like like there's a whole bunch of like what ifs now it's not even the fact that I'm like I don't know what's going to happen it's like poop like like how am I supposed to interpret this, this thing towards the, the previous narrative because it's it feels like they're they're not together anymore it feels like there's like those don't exist like that was a dream like you don't wake up from the greatest dream you've ever had in your life and be all like oh man like you're never like you're I mean you're not sitting there, like disappointed like you're like but I mean you're not sitting there like crying because of it but it's like it, it's not there. It's no longer there. I mean, it's a memory you have, but since it's not there anymore, it's like it's just a thing. It's not. It doesn't have any motion. It doesn't have any weight in the real world because it was a dream. It was nothing. It was you know, vaporeal. Why do I keep thinking of retarded words at this point of time? I don't know. But it's just there wasn't enough weight to it, and like, well, there's no longer weight to it because it's just it doesn't exist. So, like I said, they might they might not actually. I'd probably predict right now that they probably would go back and actually, like, make you kill Chloe's father, um, then that might be a thing. That might be a thing, eventually. But until then, I mean, I don't, we're kind of stuck in a situation in which, like, there's just not a whole lot to go with. We're kind of just, like, we're wondering, like, you know, when is something going to like what like like the fact is it's just like there's not like all all that happened in the first two episodes is basically gone there wasn't a whole lot in the third episode outside of you know you finding some information about some people like oh like that's basically what happened like all the all the third episode was was uh we made our way into the principal's office we swam in a pool and we like messed with frank a bit and then we went back in time, which, I mean, some of those set pieces were pretty good, but it's just, yeah, eh. you know, there wasn't a lot of weight there, like, you know, there wasn't a lot of memorable things there, you know, there wasn't a lot of, you know, there wasn't a lot of momentum to it, it was kind of a slower episode where all we did was we found out information about, hey, Frank had some involvement with Rachel, and there's some stuff behind, you know, there's some more stuff behind this, and the whatever Nathan's family is a still egotistical dicks that control the, the entire like city or town or whatever it is so eh, I don't know I don't know I'm, some, I'm kind of stuck with that's basically first episode really excited me there was a lot of problems with them but they really excited me I'm like 
the more perfect something is, the more perfect it has to be. So, you know, of course you're going to find flaws with something, but it's like, I still really enjoyed it. I talked for 40 minutes about how the first two episodes were incredibly flawed, but I still love them. Whereas this one's more of a... This one's more of a meh, all-around kind of idea. Ah, oh, you did it. Alright, my friend wanted to talk about my Terraformers review while I'm recording. You prick. Alright, whatever, but um, that's that's what it is. Um, that's what I was thinking about it. So that's basically, that's all really what we're, what we're kind of coming down to. Um, that's what we're really coming down to. Uh, really, I mean, I don't really have much to say. It's like it's up in the air. What, what If the next two episodes are great, you know, they're great. If the next two episodes kind of meander around like this, the third episode did this might end up kind of a very on a very very bad side of things and i hope it doesn't i really hope it doesn't all right well i'll see you guys soon hopefully it won't be that long until my next review is up i'm gonna start working on it immediately and i hope you guys enjoy thank you for watching or listening and please come back